Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming area with me Theo. As you may already know, for the past few days I've been playing Watch Dogs Legion. Thanks to Ubisoft and Ubisoft PR team for providing me with the review copy of the game. So far, I'm enjoying it and having fun playing the game. Play as anyone is the tagline of Watch Dogs Legion and I can see that when playing the game. You obviously can play as anyone after recruiting any Londoners to the dead side in the game. I'm 12 hours into the game and for the past 12 hours I haven't even advanced the main story mission in the game at all. As you can see from the video, that main mission called Like a Spark is the first mission that you must do when your first dead sack recruit officially joined that sack. Normally, you should continue to take the main mission in order to advance the story and sometimes unlock other things but not in Watch Dogs Legion. Ubisoft really gave us more freedom in Watch Dogs Legion from the start. You can choose to do other things beside the main mission and I'm having fun with that. After my first recruit joined that sack, I chose to do anything besides the main mission from exploring London in the game, searching for collectibles or data, searching for pace up location to create a cool mural over certain walls, get into bare knuckle league and test my fighting skill, searching for tech points and searching and recruiting people into that sack. And for the latter, I'm having too much fun searching for people in order to recruit them to the dead sack. In those 12 hours, I tried to search for anyone who has good skills and traits from different backgrounds or occupation to be recruited into that sack. But before they agree to join that sec, you must do the recruitment mission that they ask you to do. It's like you must do an errand for that person in order to make them join that sec and later use them as a playable character. There were a bunch of mission types that I got in the recruitment missions, like I have to save someone from Albion or Clan Kelly, stealing data in some restricted areas, stealing a car, defeating someone, and many more. And yeah, for the past 12 hours, I mostly did the recruitment missions without advancing the main mission in the game at all. So far, I have recruited many people from a construction worker, medical worker, Albion officer, police officer, brawler, clan Kali member, and many more. But for me, the most useful and my favorite recruit in the game is the construction worker. A construction worker with good skills and traits will have a wrench as a melee weapon that gives extra damage, a nail gun as a ranged weapon, access to enter some restricted areas in the game, and a really useful skill to call cargo drone anytime and anywhere that you can use to fly around the city. Most of the time, I use my construction worker character in order to enter any restricted areas in the game by using the ability to call cargo drone and use it to fly around to enter or exit the restricted areas. I really recommend you to recruit a construction worker first when playing the game for the first time. The other reason why I haven't advanced the main story was also because I spent so much time to search for tech points in London. I went to search for tech points obviously in order to unlock and upgrade my tech skills so my gameplay would be more fun and the route that I have to take when completing a mission would be more varied with more tech and get gets unlocked. For me personally, every time I play RPG games in general or Ubisoft open world games whether it's Assassin's Creed or Watch Dogs series, I always do this thing first. I would level up or getting skill points for my character first in order to unlock the abilities and skills of the character so my gameplay when combating the enemies would be more fun with the addition of the unlock abilities and skills. I know that unlocking and upgrading text and gadgets in the game would likely make the character overpowered and make the game much easier. So to compensate for that, I played Watch Dogs Legion on hard difficulty and enabled the permitted mode to make the game more challenging and exciting. So yeah, I think that's my impression of Watch Dogs Legion and after 12 hours doing so many recruitment missions to make people join into that sack and collecting tech points in order to unlock and upgrade tech skills of my character, I'm finally ready to advance and do the main story mission in this game. I will use this week to finish Watch Dogs Legion and I will make a review video of Watch Dogs Legion next week, definitely before Assassin's Creed Valhalla is released on November 10th, so stay tuned for that. But what do you guys think of Watch Dogs Legion? Did you play and enjoy the game? Let me know in the comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the gaming area to help my channel to become bigger. See you in the next video.